What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, UFC's uh, promoter and founder and CEO, Dana White, Blast the Zone, Oscar De La Hoya, Canelo Alvarez versus Sergey Kovalev fight, as they will be competing. And Dana White says that November 2nd date belongs to Nate Diaz, right? Nate Diaz will be taking on uh, Jorge Mas Masvidal uh, the same night, November 2nd, as the Sergey Kovalev versus Saul Canelo Alvarez fight. Dana White stated that if they're smart, they'll do the same thing Tyson Fury did the other night when Tyson Fury fought and make sure his fight, went, by the time he enters the ring, the UFC card is over. He says, but if they do try to compete with us and go head to head, they are effing nuts and we're going to blow them out the water. It's not going to be a comparison. But if they know what's good for them, they'll stage their where Canelo Alvarez and Sergey Kovalev enter the ring after Nate Diaz and Jorge um, Mazadov. I think that's how you say, say his name. Uh, after Masvidal, they enter the ring after their fight is over. Uh, you know, you have Sergey Kovalev and Canelo Alvarez fight after that. Then people will tune in. But if you try to go head to head with us, we're going to blow y'all out the water. Right. Dana White stated that, you know, um, the uh, Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz fight will be taking place November 2nd at Madison Square Garden. Um, here's what Dana White had to say. So the night we started talking, we started talking about the date and that we were going to take this date. And then a week later, I hear that they want to use that day. I think they're crazy to go the same night as us on and you uh, and this be on the zone. But it but it is what it is. But if they if if they time their right, if they time it right, uh, they do it the right thing. It could be very much like the other night when Gifiarch fought Cowboy, and then Fury fight was on after. So if the, if so if they time it right, it could work. But if they choose to go head to head with us, they're effing nuts and we're going to blow them out the water. So he's stating that, you know, uh, they have a chance to compete if they stage the fight, if they have it timed right, where uh, um, they come in the ring, C Canelo and Sergey Crusher Kovalev, you know, they come in the ring and by the time they step in the ring, the uh, Nate Diaz fight will be over with. So if they time it correctly, then the Nate Diaz fight versus Masvidal will be over with, and then they can have success. But if they choose to go head to head with us, and this fight being on the zone on top of it, they don't stand a chance, right? And uh, Dana White, I believe, does business with the zone, right? So um, he understands the market. Uh, Dana White understands what it takes to be successful. Uh, he's built that brand, you know, um, from the ground up, you know. Uh, and he's the head honcho over there, right? I know he don't. He no longer fully owns it himself solely, you know. But uh, he understands what it takes to be successful, and I have to agree with Dana White, right? Uh, hardcore UFC fans are going to tune in more, you know, to um, Nate Diaz versus Masvidal, you know, um, than they are going to, you know, with um, Canelo Alvarez versus Sergey Kovalev. That's a big fight. As Canelo Alvarez will be moving up two weight classes, you know, um, to take on Sergey Kovalev at the light heavyweight division for Sergey Crusher Kovalev's WBO belt. But, you know, the fight is on the zone. It's on the streaming app. And with that said, you know, uh, not too many people are gonna gonna know about it. Not too many people are gonna tune in. It just is what it is. You know, to try to compete with such a big fight in the UFC at the same time is you know, makes no sense. Like Dana White stated, you know, it's definitely a big fight. Dana White is a big fan of the sport of boxing. Dana White actually wants to get in the sport of boxing and be a promoter. So Dana White understands what it takes to um, to promote fights. He, understand, he understands what it takes to be successful. So Dana White, you know, um, uh, uh, is a very, very smart man. And his comments, you know, um, are very, very enlightening. You know, they should make sure that you know, by the time Canelo and Sergey Crush and Kovalev step in the ring, that they're, they're, they're not competing with any other entity, right? Uh, um, Nate D, uh, um, Dana White doesn't mind competing with them, vice versa. But the sport of boxing 
And the zone, if it was on HBO pay per view, Showtime pay per view, uh, ESPN, something like uh, that magnitude, then you know um, it would get more exposure. But the fact that it's on the zone in the streaming app and not too many people know about it, that's going to hurt the fight, point blank and period. So I have to agree with Dana White, right? He says it's, it, it just makes no sense if they go to head, head to head, we're going to blow them out the water, point blank and period. But that's all I got for y'all, man. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Road. Make sure you like and share this video. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.